I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, you cannot understand how happy I am to be back. Today's video is going to be loaded. I know I had to come with it. Now, I don't know who needs to hear this, but <laughs> hygiene is very important. So let's get all cleaned up and bubbly. This body wash right here is my ultimate beauty wash for the summer. It's got turmeric and a whole bunch of stuff that makes me feel good. To moisturize, I use the Skin Firming Hydration from Nivea. Give it a try and thank me later. And no more chalky armpits. Go and get you some invisible spray on deodorant. It doesn't transfer onto clothes. And forgive me, I'm ticklish. <laughs> and I cannot travel or stay without my Fire's Witch Hazel to keep my skin toned and refreshed. Especially now that the sun is handing out whoopings. But now that I'm all clean, I like my teeth HD. So after brushing, mouthwashing, and flossing, I'm gonna take my Crest Whitening Strips, plop them on my teeth, and let them get to whitening while I do my makeup. Speaking of makeup, let's get started. That's my song. <laughs> Not my favorite song, but you know, it gets your spirits up or whatever. Anyway, I'm taking my Pore Professionals primer and applying it to my T-zone and areas where I'm not so smooth. Then I'm gonna go into my eyebrows. Now, while I was away, I've been loving the way I've been doing my eyebrows. I take this brown felt tip eyeliner from NYX and I draw tiny, tiny hairs onto the sparse places in my brow and also extend my arch, make sure they're all nice and full. Then I take my NARS concealer, I believe it's in custard, and my MAC brush. I'm going to list all the products I use in the description box because you guys know I tend to be saying the wrong thing left and right. But you know, I try my best. Then I'm gonna take my discontinued Tears Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pot and just, you know, clean up the top of my brows. It gives a nice highlighted sharp effect and look at those brows. Baby, look at those brows. They are raising my bride price, period. No, but seriously, they look really nice. Now I'm gonna take the most expensive looking $3 lashes and my duo glue and apply my lashes on camera. You guys always wanna see how I apply my lashes with my fingers and my nails act as tweezers when I have nails on or whatever. I got it on camera. Oh my God, bad babe. If you're a subscriber, you know how much of a big deal that is. Like, I'm always scared to do my lashes on camera. But right now, I'm using Auntie Jackie's foundation and smoothing that butter pecan into my butter pecan skin. And it's too hot for too much foundation, so I just go in in the areas where I need a little more coverage and then blend everything out. Blending out your foundation and taking that time is key in this hot weather. Now I'm gonna take my concealer in Honey and Mocha, and this is all Too Faced Born This Way. And I'm going to apply it to my T-zone and highlighted areas, and then I'm going to blend it out. Keep in mind, my beauty blender, I put it under hot water because it just helps blend everything. And wow, look at, look at that blend, like really? Next, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown foundation in almonds, and I'm using that to contour my face. My camera shut off while I did it, so I'm pretending to do it again. Yes, slay queen. When I contour, I like my cheekbones profound, my double chin nowhere to be found, my forehead less round, and my eyelids real brown. And I, ooh. <laughs> did I get you? Did you see it coming? <sighs> Jeez, these flights get me tired, but these designer bags is not gonna match this designer scarf, okay? So I'm going in with NARS concealer because it gets me tight and right, boo-boo, and I just blend that all in. So here's my favorite rule about makeup. There are no rules. I'm free to do whatever I like. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that yellow color clay thing from the ABH palette and just brighten my T-zone some more because I like my highlight popping. 
And then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and bake everything. Now baking might be old to you, boo boo, but it works for me. My makeup lasts all day. It looks airbrushed and flawless. <laughs> flawless? Anyway, hey, <laughs> these voiceover things are not easy to do, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna just brush everything off of my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, thumbs up this video for my eyebrows. I'm gonna give my video a thumbs up right now. <laughs> now I'm gonna set my contour using my favorite blushing brush from Sephora. It's the number 50 brush, and I'm gonna just use that powder to set my contour. Just make sure everything is matte, blended, and ready for some heat, okay? Wow, my makeup skills have really improved. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna go back into that ABH contour kit and my 56 brush from Sephora to just bring out my cheekbones and my contour. If you can't find your contour, this brush will find it for you. <laughs> Seriously, awesome brush. I'm gonna take my 98 brush and use that to apply some pink peachy eyeshadow to my cheeks as a blush. And anywhere else I like, really. It's a hot girl summer, I do what I want. Go crazy, ah, 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 go stupid, ah. I'm really about to go crazy and do some eyeshadow today. I'm taking that first burnt orange color and using it as a base. Then I'm going in with some chocolate brown color and putting that into my crease. And boo, girl, I'm looking like a whole makeup artist out here. I'm so proud of me. Are you proud of me? And then I'm gonna take that light peach color and pop that onto my eyelid. Three color eyeshadow, beginner friendly, cause I'm a beginner. But this looks really good though, like no cap. This looks really good. And the sleigh this summer will be vicious, sis. So I'm going in with Amrezy highlighter and I just apply the glow. I make sure to get that middle part of my nose real good. Like I don't want a face tune. I want everything to pop in person. Then I'm gonna set everything with my new favorite setting spray. I think everyone's using this now, but if you haven't gotten it yet, I recommend it for sure. Then I'm gonna line my lips with the best most creamiest lip liner in the world, Makeup Forever Brown. Throw some NYX matte lip cream on that mug, blend that out. So pretty, so pretty, always and forever. Mwah. Then I'm gonna sync everything together with some Fenty Glow and apply my Sephora Lip Plumper on as well. To finish my whole look, I'm now gonna take mascara and I apply it after I set my face cause I hate when I spray my face and I blink too hard and the mascara gets everywhere. <laughs> so this is the last step that I do and the makeup look is complete. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. It's hair time. Oh, what happened to my length? Where's the 30 inches at? Oh, I have two brown wigs. Yep, this one is just a decoy. It's up for vacation when you're swimming and when push comes to shove, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding, we don't fight. We're too classy for that. But yeah, uh, I wear one wig to the gym, to swim, all that. And then the other one to, you know, look gorgeous and wear curled and all that just so I don't have to keep styling my hair all the time. Anyway, this hair is from Beauty Forever. I made the wig, of course. It needs to be washed, but guess who doesn't care? <laughs> Me. Don't worry, I'll wash it and revamp it before my flight, but I'm not even gonna do Shakara for this YouTube. I refuse. I must be myself, fool. Like, my hair is my hair shot. I don't really try too hard to do the whole, you know, lie lie routine. I don't do much. This hair, is, oh, this hair has tried. Ah. Beauty Forever, this hair has tried. Like, my hair goal is to be able to throw that mug on and go. But anyway, I'm gonna take this spray bottle of water. And it's water, trust me, ignore the label. It's water, all right? And I'm gonna just spray my edges. There's like leftover got to be glued on there. So I'm just reactivating it so it can like re-dry to my head. And my edges aren't perfect. The wig is not perfect, but I get compliments. I love my hair. And that's all that matters. Like, it looks good to me. I'm gonna take some got to be glued, travel size, of course, and just apply small, small to my baby hairs or whatever. And then take my Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine because my hair is a little brittle and dry. So it just kind of gives it like a dry shampoo effect, makes it smell good, gives it luster, shape, definition. Shaka! Do you see that color? 
for the tutorial, please go to the description box. The color tutorial is there. I'm gonna take my generic hairspray and set everything into place, especially when in this humidity and this heat, you need your hair to be secure. Now, this hair has lasted long. Like I was supposed to make this video months ago and I'm just making it now and maybe I'm good at maintaining hair. Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Once again, this is Beauty Forever Hair. Use code SOFIOLOGY at checkout to save you some coins, I beg. And don't forget your second wig at home. Make sure you pack it. <laughs>
closet number four says, I can't just wear a bikini. I have to serve looks. I'm sorry. It's what I was born to do. This is a three piece set I found on Fashion Nova with a sheer cover up in the bikini. I got it in a size medium and I absolutely love it. And guess what? It comes in pink, sis. Hit the stove, you can get them both. You don't gotta choose. Uh, but I actually do wanna know what you guys think because this one's like a little feisty. Like, which one do y'all prefer, orange or pink? Comment down below. Finally, the last outfit is for a more formal night. <laughs> Got a date? Don't worry, this top does all the talking. This blouse is from Fashion Nova as well and the details are life, excuse me. And these pants are from Fashion Nova as well. They're just a basic I have in my closet. Paired together, it's a fire fit. This video is not sponsored. I'm just stuck to the store as much as I hate it. Bag is from Pretty Little Thing and this showstopper of a timepiece. This is what you call a watch. Real diamonds, real rose gold, perfectly fit just for me. JBW watches, thank you so much. Can we get a close up on this? Jeez, that is a watch. I love it so much. What a perfect gift it can make. Use my code Sophieology at checkout to save 30% off. Thank you so much for watching this video. It is sadly over, but before I go, I wanna give the Lord Jesus Christ a big hand. I just need to thank him so much because if not for him, I would not be here. I wouldn't be on the screen. He has protected me countless times. He keeps providing for me. My creativity, my zeal, my will to do anything, my strength comes from the Lord. And I just thank him for you all as well. This journey of life is not easy at all, but I'm just so grateful right now for man, everything that God is doing. So um, thank you guys for watching this video and staying this long to spend time with me. Don't leave without following me on Instagram. I have had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. I know I have friends on this YouTube and they're not following me on Instagram. I don't know why. When you find me, show my page some love. I found some fan pages. Thank you for creating those. They warmed my heart. And um, I am... I have two more videos coming out this week, so just stay tuned and thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I really do. And uh, see you soon. White screen.